Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome to Nancy Drew, the creature of Kapu Cave. We have this hilly hilly plant sample here, which is um, like a light yellow color. And um, let's see about finding a match for it. Uh-oh, the color of the leaf sample from the Healy Healy doesn't match the color of the frass sample. Uh, I guess I better go tell Quigley. Oh, that didn't turn out quite like I thought it would. I guess we'll go talk to Quigley then. Do we need to... We can't take them with us or anything. I was just wondering if we need to take them with us. But no, apparently not. Let's go talk to Quigley. I thought I'd be testing all of the frass samples until I'd uh, find a match. But I guess not. So that was a far less long and involved thing than I thought it would be. Let's find quickly. Again. We just talked to her at the end of our previous episode. But I guess, um... That's the thing with these games. There's a lot of running from place to place. Quigley, can I talk to you? I can't come down right now. The wasps I'm observing are doing some kind of dance and I'm taking notes. What do you want? Whatever those caterpillars have been eating is not what Dr. Craven's been growing at the Healy Healy. The samples didn't match? No. What should I do now? Okay, listen up. Open my pack down there, take out the container of canopy samples I've collected, and see if one of them matches the frass sample. Got that? Got it! Okay. See if one of these matches the frass sample. So see if one of those turns blue as well. Okay, so we're actually not looking for a frass sample that matches the thing that they've been growing, the pineapple that they've been growing. We're looking for a plant that matches the frass sample because we're trying to identify it. Got it. I guess I, uh should have realized that sooner, but, um, oh well, it's fine. At least I now actually know <laughs> why it is that I'm I doing- I don't need to analyze that. I don't need to analyze that. Oh, I actually need to put it on the table. There we go. So, let's start with hibiscus. Definitely not blue. Mosquito. That doesn't match. Breadfruit. Not a match. A uh, fritillated flag beetle larva. A match? So, looks like those caterpillars have been eating fritillated flag beetles, whatever they are. Okay. So, do we now go talk to Quigley some more? Probably, right? Um... 
It doesn't look like those Norse of Beta Odorata larvae have been eating Craven's plants after all. At least they haven't been eating the plant which appears to be the focal point of Craven's research. Now what? Now we, I, have to try to figure out what those larvae have been eating. Quickly gave me a bunch of samples to check. I sure hope one of them matches cause I'm getting real tired of looking at frass. Let's, um, okay, tell quickly. Analyze. Check. Uh, check. Cole, Frank, and Joe haven't done that yet. Uh, let's go talk to Quigley again. Just running back and forth here. Well, at least I don't have to mm, grind for Big Island Box anymore. And that's a relief. We got the snorkeling gear. Have you got something? Well, it looks to me like those caterpillars have been eating nothing but fritillated flag beetles. Fritillated flag beetles? No, no, that's not possible. It better be possible because my days of analyzing frass are over. The fritillated flag beetle is a relatively minor species in this area. But if your analysis is correct, that means they're multiplying at an even greater rate than the Norsebana are. The question is why? Fame and fortune just got put on hold, Nancy. We can't go public with this until I figure out what the heck is going on. Where are you going? Up. I do my best thinking when my feet aren't touching the ground. Don't ask me why. I've carried you long enough, Nancy. You're on your own. Oh, wait a sec. I know what you can do. There's a metal ring inside my pack. I found it at Kapu Cave when I was setting out frass traps. Maybe you can figure out what it's for. Darn things got me stumped. Okay, I'll check it out. Found it at Kapu Cave, huh? Uh, did we take it? Apparently we did. Oh yeah. Because there was this thing there. Or like uh, the spot where Nancy said that something needs to go into that spot. So... Um, maybe it's the ring that needs to go into that spot? Let's go to Kapu Cave and find out. So it was not that one, it was this one. And then that's where the ring needed to go, or where something needed to go. A nose ring, of course! Okay. I can move his teeth now! So each one just moves on its own. What order were these things in in the uh, in the drawing? I guess I need to call the boys and uh, take a look at that drawing. Uh, Frank and Joe Hardy. Oh, come on. I guess we could talk to Ned as well, real quick. We haven't done that in a while. Hello? Hi, Ned. 
Hey, how's it going? When I talked to Frank Hardy, he said that someone had knocked Joe over the head and sent him to the doctors with a concussion. Whoa, that's no way to spend a Hawaiian vacation. He and Frank aren't really vacationing. In fact, Frank said Joe was in the process of snooping when it happened. Sounds like you've been talking to Frank a lot. Oh. Not that much. Do I detect a note of jealousy? Of course. That's nice. Unnecessary, but nice. Not to change the subject or anything, but what else has been going on? Um... The guy for whom... Oh, yeah. I discovered something kind of weird. The guy for whom the Hardy Boys are working is the same guy for whom Dr. Malachi Craven is working. You don't think that this little entomological mystery you're working on is somehow related to whatever mystery they're working on, do you? Nah. I mean, how could it be? Be kind of cool if it was, though, don't you think? Yeah. You bet. Very cool. Music to my ears. <laughs> Get this. The reason there's so many Norsobeta odorata larvae is because all of a sudden there are tons of fritillated flag beetles around for them to eat. I've never heard of fritillated flag beetles. Well, that's because they're not that common. At least they didn't used to be. So why are there suddenly so many of them? Quickly is up in her tree trying to figure that out even as we speak. She's up in her tree? Yeah, like you said, Quigley's a little... quirky. quirky. No kidding. Well, that's it for now. Call again, okay? I will. Bye. Okay, now we call the boys and look at the uh, drawing. Hello? Hi, Frank. It's Nancy. What's going on? Oh, stuff. How about you? Just calling to say hey. Back at ya. Bye. All right. Let's take a look at that drawing. Uh, this one, right? Yeah. So, what do we have here? Uh, <laughs> let me see if I can firstly identify all of these. That's like a... Is that like a manta ray or something? And then we've got like, um, what's this one called? Um, I'm just calling it, uh, no, I, I think I've actually, I've seen these in Stardew Valley, haven't I? What were they called in Stardew Valley? I can't remember. Sea urchins? Doesn't really look like oh, a whole lot like the sea urchins in Stardew Valley, but I think maybe I'll just call it a sea urchin. And then we've got the crab and the whale and the octopus and the turtle and uh, the shark and the eel and do they go in that order? I don't think anything in here says that they'd go in a different order, right? At least not that I can see. So let's see if I can remember. Uh, is this like upper row and lower row? Or... Uh, don't really know. Is this like left side and right side? Like, you know, these four and then these four? Or is it upper row, lower row? Maybe it's left side, right side, because that's the way they are. Th that's the way they've been put here. So left side, right side. And uh, do you think it's like eel, shark, turtle, um... octopus or uh, 
I'm going to assume eel, shark, turtle, octopus. And then whale, crab, urchin, manta ray. Yeah. No can do. Oh. So eel, shark, turtle, octopus, whale, crab, urchin, manta ray. No. Don't you want to call Nancy? There you go. <laughs> How are you doing? A-OK. -okay. Just checking in? Just checking in. You mind? Nope. Good. I'll call you later. So... Oh. Is it then... <gasps> Interesting, we don't have all the things in all the... We do have the eel here too. Yeah, we've got the eel on the upper row. Don't have the octopus here, do we? No, we've got the crab though. And the whale. The shark. Hmm. What are we missing here? The turtle. Where do we have a turtle? Do we have one here? No, we don't. Not here either. There's a turtle. So if that one is the turtle, I guess we just have to find 
all of the different ones that we needed, right? This one could be manta ray or eel. I can't turn it the other way. Manta ray? Uh, all of these had the eel in them, didn't they? And several had the octopus as well. This could either be the whale or the crab. Whale or eel. If that's the eel, is this the sea urchin then? We don't have it here. This could be eel or octopus or manta ray. Is this the sea urchin then? No. That could be the turtle. Aha. Uh -huh. So it was just... The order didn't matter. It was just about getting all the symbols there. It opened! I'd better call and tell Frank. You have reached... Joe Hardy and or Frank Hardy. Only we're not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, remember that creepy face that had been carved into a wall? The one with all the pictures on his teeth? Well, thanks to that list of animals you gave me, the face opened up. And I'm about to explore whatever's behind it. I don't know if or how this helps you, but I just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, I'm going in, so wish me luck. Okay, it didn't switch to the boys this time. I guess we can just go in. Apparently those moth larvae have been feasting on fritillated flag beetles, which means the moth population is booming because the fritillated flag beetle population is booming, which means the real mystery is why are there so many fritillated flag beetles all of a sudden? Quigley doesn't have a clue, needless to say, neither do I. Um, tell quickly. Did that. Uh, metal ring. Did that. Uh, move the teeth. Done. Try turning those teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check. Um, call Frank and Joe. Haven't done that yet. Really? Well, I mean, I haven't been able to. Uh, moth larvae. Check. Um, what the deal is with the face. Check. Okay, so do we call the Hardy Boys about Akins? We kind of did just now call them, but we weren't able to reach them. And now I can't use my phone. And also, I can't go back. I can only go forward. Looks to me like this might be a good place to end the episode. We'll go see whatever's there next time. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm unable to turn back from here. I can only go forward. So, we'll do that, we'll go forward and uh, find out what there is to find there in the next episode. For now, thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you again next time.